guys are up to right now. What's going on, Tony? What are you guys up to? We just got some new photos for the new shop. Ooh, okay. You want to see? How's it look? It's coming out nicely. Oh, damn. So massive. I can't wait to shoot some new content in there. Especially like the 360 one we did of the twin turbo Lamborghini. Dude, that footage came out so I know. Cool. Like, I can't, I can't stop watching it. Yeah, you need to get more shots like that, Tony. Funny that you say that because today's video is sponsored by Insta360. You know, it's been a blast and a game changer shooting on the Insta360 X3. We've been shooting all of our cars here lately with it, especially the Twin Turbo SVJ. Let me tell you about it real quick. The Insta360 X3 shoots in vivid 5.7K 360 on its brand new half inch sensor. So all you gotta do is set it, record, and reframe it later in Insta360's editing app. The app is super easy to use, user friendly. It helps me and the editors edit everything in a breeze. We're also able to get impossible third person perspective shots with the invisible selfie stick that magically disappears in the edit. You know, sometimes shooting cars is a little bit hard because of the speed and the shakiness, but thanks to Insta360's flow state stabilization and 360 degree horizon lock, all of our shots are pretty much buttery smooth. Some of the other features that I'm personally excited about is the 8K 360 time-lapse and the 4K single lens mode. All right, let me show you guys how we mount the Insta360 X3 on three. Oh, our first, uh, we gotta get the window clean. Nice big area. Oh, this ain't going nowhere. Then we got the Insta360 invisible selfie stick. Screw that on right here. Hey, we got the support mouth right here. Boom. Just gotta make sure that we got uh, Insta360 X3. Oh, damn. Yo, this thing goes far. There you go. Insta360 is having an end of the season sale up until September 14th. And their flagship Insta360 X3 that we use is available for 5% off. So click the link in the description below to get yours now, all right? So let's go check out the shop. All right, guys. I know we haven't been shooting a lot of car content lately, but uh, we wanted to give you guys a little something. Something, something nice, something, something loud, something spice, some something pretty. Oh, damn, I wasn't ready, man. Shout out to Insta360, by the way. Thank you, Insta360, for giving me a bad camera in the back of the car so we can make noise for all you suckers. Sorry, I turn into a kid when I get into this car. Let's see what this uh, Insta360 camera has with the new stick and everything. See how steady it is, see how nice it shoots. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. This is a real Ferrari, V12 Symphony. What would be your second choice? Second choice of what? What was the question? <laughs> what, what is your second choice? What is my second uh, choice? Uh, uh, Ferrari after this one. Second choice Ferrari after this one? Oh! My second Please. choice Ferrari? No. My first choice Ferrari is the F40. Oh, my okay. second choice Ferrari is a LaFerrari. My third choice Ferrari is an Enzo. My fourth choice Ferrari would be an F50. I'm not too big of an F50 guy. Oh, okay. okay. I, love, I love the V12. I'm not, I'm, not a, I'm not a big Ferrari guy, to be honest with you. It's fine. It's just NJ. See what he wants. It is, by the way. We what do you want, NJ? View. Now that we're back, after being rudely interrupted by NJ. What? This guy's about to jump. Hit them switches. Yeah. Look at this guy, he's about to rear end them. I know, right? Freaking Matrix. Take it easy, Matrix. You ain't got no tricks. I haven't seen these in cars in a while. Bounce on me. Come on, hit that. I just hope 
spring don't go flying out of hitting our <laughs> What's up? You wanna go? Let's go. Uh, what you got in there? Ready? Ready? Go! Go! Oh. Making trouble in Van Nuys, yeah, right next to the courthouse and uh, the police station. Police station. Look at this guy. That exhaust is just another level. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. You Mr. Worldwide. Dang, Worldwide Mr. Bada bing, bada boom, Mr. Worldwide as I step in the room. I want to show you guys what we've been up to in the last few months. I know we haven't given you guys any shop updates. We've been trying to keep it on a hush. There's been a lot going on. We've been extremely stressed out. We're trying to make content for you guys and try to finish this place. We got a lot of builds that we've tucked away right now and we've kind of put them in the corner since we don't want to start taking cars apart at the old shop. But today we're at the new shop. We got some good progress and we're going to walk around, show you guys a little bit. Obviously it's not done yet. Probably another two months until we could actually start moving the guys in here, the fabrication. The lifts are almost all here. We got four more lifts on the way. The dyno this morning, we poured the concrete. So the dyno's getting ready to go in. We got a new Pro Hub dyno. We got a Mustang all wheel drive, fully adjustable dyno. The guy's whole fabrication area is basically set up. They've been doing electrical, AC, drywall, and all that. We wanted to make this place very unique, very modern and a very cool atmosphere for my guys to work in, for our customers to come and hang out, and lounge here, watch their cars get built. That's why we've put a lot of glass all over the place. Let's check out the shop a little bit. Over here, we got our dyno room. They just put up all the foam insulation over here. We still gotta do drywall. We've already made the pit for the dyno. So we'll have a all wheel drive Mustang dyno over here, fully adjustable bed. It's the MD800, it's a bad dyno. It's probably one of the best dynos Mustang makes. We also bought a mainline dyno. So for the big horsepower cars, you know, when I get freaked out on the dyno doing twin turbo all wheel drive SVJs pulling left and right, you know, it gets sketchy on the roller. So now we got a hub dyno also. We got these huge, Fans, axial fans that are going up. This is actually gonna be about 160,000 CFM pulling out of this place, wow. which is great for me because I've been sick and tired of inhaling all this you know, exhaust fumes <laughs> for years so I could actually breathe in the car now. I got a nice silent room that I'm building. We got three fans that are going up top and in the front of it. We'll have two of the fans that were getting made out in Europe that's getting sent out to us. Those are gonna be doing about 160 kilometers per hour, 170 kilometers per hour each. And then we also have our mainline dyno fan that goes in the middle. So realistically in front of the cars, we should be able to get about 160 to 180 mile per hour street wind, basically. It will be variable. So when we're sitting at idle, the car's not getting all that air forced on it. So as we proceed and speed up, the fans will speed up with the car. We have a nice cool room with a bunch of air being able to get provided to the car so we could tune the car like we're tuning it on the street. We're gonna make little custom boxes for the mainline dyno to go inside. They'll be put away where we could pull them out and put it in whenever we want. That's uh, my little office over there that I built. Everything's built out of containers over here mostly, so it's pretty cool. So this area right here, this section is gonna be our engine assembly room and transmission assembly room. So all the V12 engines, all the V10 transmissions, V10 engines, and all the McLaren engines and so on will get assembled here. We wanted to make a nice little room for me and Marco to, you guys know my buddy, my Italian baby, Marco <laughs> from uh, Magnus. We wanted to build a bad room for us to be able to assemble the motors over here. I'll be doing all the ECU services and everything out of this room right here. We're gonna have a glass window over here because this will be AC'd. So this is where all the tuning will happen. All the tuning magic is gonna happen down here. On the other side of this wall uh -huh. is another container. We'll have a shipping and receiving area over here. And the back side will have like a curtain mm -hmm. where you won't see, but behind it will be all racks. Every single car will have its own designated rack, designated area. So when you walk into the shop, you don't see anything on the floor. Mm -hmm. We want to make this place literally look like it's a science like lab. <laughs> I don't want anything off in the floors. I want you to be able to Drop your pizza on the floor over here and be confident enough where you pick it up that you know it's cleaner than your kitchen table and you could grab it and eat it. Oh yeah! We got Danny 
Pinoy's room right here. So Danny's uh, the shop manager, the foreman. So we made him his own room where he could overlook the guys, make sure everybody's working. We'll have cameras all over the place, fabricators. If you think just because he's on top of you and he can't see you, he'll have cameras everywhere watching you guys. <laughs> the shop is pretty big. It's about 11,000 square feet. We built this whole top space so we could put shelves, racks, everything will be completely organized. You know, we've had a really big problem at the other shop because we haven't had enough space to do what we wanted to do. But now we have that shop, this shop, mm -hmm. New York, plus across the street over there. So we have a lot of room to keep everything organized. I mean, this thing goes all the way there. Yeah, the more, more storage space. Okay, this is our fabrication area. So this is gonna be for the fabricators. We're leaving all the CNC machines that we have, that we own right now. We're leaving those in Van Nuys. Steve-O will be moving into Van Nuys. Steve-O will be op operating all the CNC machines in Van Nuys. We're gonna turn into a machine shop over there. We'll have the whole fabrication area over here. The guys will be building your exhaust systems that you guys love to order from us in this room itself. Everybody will have their partitions. It's gonna have a full ventilation for taking all the gas out. We're gonna have full AC in here for the guys, obviously, so they're nice and comfortable while they're welding. This is a dirty room that we built. In here, we'll have a manual lathe, a manual mill, bandsaw, all the sanders, expanders, mm. and everything will go in here. Full air filter, air filtration system that's gonna go up here. That's gonna filter all the air and all the dust out of here. Oh, nice. So we keep all the dust, all the metal shavings, everything in this area. It does not go out into the shop. So we have three lifts in right now. We got four more lifts coming. We'll have a lift right here. That's gonna be only for the fabrication guys. It'll be just for them to work on. We'll have another one in the corner. We'll have another one next to it. And we're gonna have one over there in the corner for Tony. So in the total, we'll have seven lifts in here. We'll have two lifts still at the old shop uh -huh. for uh, just R&D and stuff. Over here now, having all the space and having the other shops, we'll be able to provide you guys all of that. McLaren, Ferrari, Porsche, Lamborghini. We got you covered. We got all the factory diagnostic tools, so you don't have to go to the dealer and pay those insane prices. We'll give you a better deal. So keep that in mind. We're also gonna get an alignment rack over here. We're waiting for one that actually is a scissor lift alignment rack that's gonna go in the floor. So when we're not using it, it doesn't take up the space. So Hunter is gonna hopefully give us the alignment tools and obviously Ben Pack will give us the alignment rack which is the scissor li uh, lift one that we're waiting for so shout out to Ben Pack by the way yeah thank you Ben Pack for everything that you're doing for us we really appreciate it so let's walk over this way built a little kitchen area for the guys they got their own sink their own fridge and whatever else they need over here and over here we put bathroom for them so after they eat if they need the chorro they could go chorro in there <laughs> stay out of my bathroom stay out of my bathroom it's awesome this time they can't use my bathroom they can't come anywhere close <laughs> to my bathroom over here it's a big opening for the waiting area just a lounge for customers when they come to pick up their car drop off their car or get any kind of service this will be the lounge you guys will be chilling in this will be all glass over here so you guys will be able to see inside the shop and see the guys working the dino room's door will also be all glass so you'll be able to see inside of there from here we're gonna have like a really chill vibe somewhere where you guys could be comfortable hang out have a drink maybe even smoke a cigar i'm gonna put a nice uh wet bar over here got some good tequila for you guys Ooh -wee. you could hang out watch a sports game watch your news do whatever you want while you're waiting for your car somewhere where you guys could come chill and hang out and enjoy yourselves we have a bathroom for you guys just for you guys nobody else will ever use that bathroom this is the way you get to my office. We got a full glass door that separates this area from this top area over here since everything will be obviously AC'd. We don't want the AC to escape. This area will be a cool little balcony area for us to, you know, come out, yell at the guys. We'll be able to watch over everybody over here. This is NJ's new office. He's upgraded heavily, big time. I mean, his office is almost four times the size of the office that he has Does he now. need this much room though? He needs room, he needs room. Everybody's always in NJ's office, always oh, working They're not gonna be coming up here. Order this, <laughs> order that. He has all the file cabinets. It's NJ's the guy who gets everything done. This will be probably Roz's office. We're gonna set up the media area over here in this office. And Tony could do his thing. Oh, Big. Give me the smallest one. Yeah, you don't need that much. You just got a computer. I don't need yeah. as much. Yeah, you don't need I'm that. taking all this photography and- uh, yeah, yeah, all you need is a desk and a computer. That's all you need. You don't no, need I anything need, else. Need... Over there is their office. And then, again, there's a door here. So don't think you can walk right in. You cannot. It will have an electric pad on there. You'll have to get buzzed in if I want you to get buzzed in. This, finally, I've been doing this since 2004, guys. Finally, 
I built myself my dream office. I wanted a whole view of the shop. I wanted to be able to watch the guys while they're working because at the old shop, there's a wall between us and the guys. So everybody thinks they could do whatever they want and get away with whatever they want at work. Now you got the eye of the tiger. You're not gonna be able to mess around. This is amazing. I've always wanted to see the view of my shop and the view of the beautiful cars that we work on. So I built this for me and my brother to hang out, be comfortable, have nice room, have our clients over, just like a home away from home. We put a little area over here. We're probably gonna put some couches and everything. Got a little closet, got a nice bathroom over here. Nice toilet seat, all private to me. So I know it's never gonna get dirty. I'm the only one who's gonna touch my ass down to that seat. Got a shower in there. It's been a long time coming. And then we got next door, 10 CNC machines, a mandrel bender, laser cutter, CMM, Everything. everything. There is everything. everything on the other side of this wall. So if you guys need anything lasered, anything CNC machined, anything cut for you, anything bent for you, mandrel bent, whatever you need, we got you. Not only for Gintani, we're gonna be able to do it for a lot more other shops, for other people that need it for cars or anything else. You know, construction, whatever you need. We can't wait to get in here, guys. Just be patient with us. It's gonna be freaking amazing once we're in here. I promise you guys are gonna see this place full of bad cars we got like four or five event door builds that we need to do we have our 991.2 gt3 rs that nobody even knows about that's oh, been yeah. sitting in my garage that yeah, we got a fully built motor for a twin turbo we're gonna make about 15 1600 horsepower on that car we got to bring that car in it's literally been sitting in my garage we haven't touched it everything's ready to go we have my twin turbo svj with a built motor we're gonna be putting together we got my 992 turbo s we're gonna be putting together we we'll get a rid of a couple of cars and we're gonna get something in the mclaren Ooh. range okay. and i'm working really hard towards that it's just been very hard with building this place and trying to buy that car we're going to be selling some of our cars our aventador s roadster is for sale 996 gt2 is for sale our 348 is actually sold oh when the 992 is done the 992 is probably gonna be for sale or RWB. the rwb is not for sale oh. after we're done with the 992 that might be heading to new york and that's probably gonna stay in new york that'll be our new york shop car so when i go out there we have a car to drive and we have a car to go to the events the races and all that other stuff with all that being said be patient guys we're almost there we're gonna be in here soon we're gonna get the techs and the fabricators in right away once everything's done on that side and the floors are done we don't really care about the office area right now we just want to get in here and start working and building some cars so stay tuned i hope you guys enjoy this video like comment subscribe that's all i could ask for man enjoy it thank you so much for listening to me bible on thank you Insta360 is having an end of season sale until September 14th and their flagship Insta360 X3 is available for 5% off. So click the link in the description and get one for yourself.